so I had a patron supporter who been wanting this video for like three weeks. So kudos to my man. He put on every fucking video. <laughs> you know, he been wanting me to make the video about three weeks. But I, like I tell you guys, you know, I try to get my gold package guys first. And if I make a video and a guy have a good follow-up question to the video, I'm not going to make the video two weeks from now. Guys going to be like, what the fuck is this in reference to? So like if I make a video... And then guys come with some good follow-up questions like, hey, like they didn't quite understand it. They, they add some to it. Then I'm going to go and make the follow-up video because me trying to make a follow-up follow video two weeks from now, guys going to be like, you know, I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. So, but kudos to my dude. He was patient. So he wanted to know how to get uh, young women comfortable. And guys, they got construction going on. So I talk loud as I can. They, you know, they read them all in the building and shit. So I just talk loud as I can. But Guys, to get young girls comfortable, all you got to do is shut your fucking mouth, all right? I know you young, and I know you want to fuck, and then I know you want to brag about it because you want to be the man, show everybody I fucked that bitch. But guys, when you're young, when you old for that matter, but old women don't worry about that because I'm 38 years old. I'll be 39 years old this, uh, this year. I'm not fucking a girl and going out. I fuck her. I'm too old for that bullshit. But I do understand if you're 15, 16, 17 years old. I know I got a lot of young guys watching these videos. That is the biggest hindrance to you fucking bitches. It's keeping your fucking mouth shut. I, it's, it's like a double-edged sword. You want to brag about it, show all your friends and everybody you the man. But on the other hand, girls going to stop trusting you and they ain't going to want to fuck with you. This is why women prefer to fuck with guys they don't work with. This is why women prefer to fuck with guys that don't go to their gym. This is why women prefer to fuck with guys who not in their neighborhood, all right? Because they know if shit get out, at least it's not close, all right? That's why it's so hard for all you guys wondering why it's so hard to get a woman at your job or school or neighborhood or shit like that. That's why it's hard. Not saying it can't be done because I don't fuck, you know, women at all of them. But I'm just saying it's much easier when a woman feel like, okay, if this go bad, I don't never got to see your ass, all right? And what I mean by going bad is a woman ain't worried about you running your mouth while y'all, you know, while you still fucking her. She worried about when it ends, all right? Now you're going to go to, oh, man, that bitch sucked my dick. Let me tell y'all a story about when I was like 17 and had this girl fucked. And I was telling her, go on suck my dick. And then she was like, she was thinking about it. Now, her objections wasn't, oh, it's nasty. Uh, I don't do that type of thing. You know what her objection was? You're going to tell everybody. That's what she told me. You're going to tell everybody. See, that's a girl's worst nightmare. You tell, you're going to tell somebody, all right? She, the, the, the thing wasn't about her sucking my dick. And one day, you know, most some girls might think it's nasty. Or this, that ain't what she said. Like, oh, I don't do that. That's disgusting. That ain't what she said. You're going to tell everybody. She looked at my dick like 30 seconds, thinking about it, like when the options. Should I suck it? Should I? And she said, she came up with a conclusion, you're going to tell everybody. And then lay back down. All right? So here's the thing, guys. To get girls comfortable, they simply have to know that you got them. What you gonna, what y'all do is between y'all. So when you talking to her, you need to reassure her that anything that goes on between y'all is just between y'all. Nobody else's business. All right? You need to be constantly reassuring her that, that, you know, nobody need to, you know, whatever going on between us, that's just between us, you know. Uh, and I hope you keep my business private and I keep your business private. You need to reassure a woman that you ain't got no big fucking mouth, all right. That is utmost, guys, all right. Shut your fucking mouth and reassure her that anything that y'all do is confidential, all right. And now he asked me another good question. He wanted to know how to get more dates after the third day. Well, here's the thing. How about fucking the bitch? See, here's the thing, guys. I know a lot of you guys, some of y'all are alpha males in training, so you ain't quite alpha yet, so you don't understand this. So let me be abundantly clear what I'm about to say. Women want to fuck, all right? Women want to fuck, all right? They don't want to be your... I'm talking about women who have genuine interest. I ain't talking about the women that are using you for your attention. I'm talking about the women with high interest in you, and you sitting there trying to play like the good of two shoes because you too scared to make a fucking move. All right, girls want to fuck. I can't tell you how many women I done lost back in my day because I'm sitting there all scared. Of, in my head, I'm thinking like if I make a move, she might lose interest because girls don't want to have sex, you know. Guys, girls want to fuck. And if you ain't trying to fuck, they going to stop fucking with you, all right? So if you've been out with a girl two or three times and you know you ain't really trying to make no aggressive moves and you wonder what happened to her because you ain't trying to fucking fuck. All right. A lot of the times, because I'm talking about to the guys who know all my strategies. All right. For all of my guys that know how to pass women shit tests and this, that, and other, 
and you going out and you thinking like, oh man, I'm gonna play the nice guy role. I ain't, I don't just want sex. I'm gonna take my time. Yeah, you keep taking your time while this girl over here seeing her pussy wet this motherfucker, and she waiting on you to make a move and you make a move. Now please understand when I say she waiting on you to make a move. She's still going to do the whole dog and pony show about stopping your advances, this, that, and the other. Women got to put up this little front like they ain't easy, guys. Please understand that. All right? She got to do that. She wants you to respect her. She wants you to think she's a challenge. All right? But she still wants you to know how to close the fucking deal. So if you ain't fucking her and it's been the third date, this is why you ain't got no more fucking dates. All right? Because you ain't fucked her. I know that shocked the shit out of y'all that you thought that girl just want to come watch Netflix with your ass. No, she want to do that with the beta males who she using for their non-sexual attention. If you're a genuine guy she got genuine interest in, she wants to fucking fuck, all right? This is why women don't like to fuck with beta males because they don't know shit like this, all right? They want to fuck. The girl want to fuck, all right? Now, it's hypothetical say you did fuck, all right? Let's say you did fuck, all right? You got to make her calm, guys. Now, I said in another video that I don't make my girls calm. That's because I've been fucking with them a while. All right? These ain't no girls that I've been fucking with for uh, two weeks, three weeks. These girls I've been fucking with six months, a year, and shit like this, that, and other. All right? I ain't got to make them come every fucking time. All right? If it's the third fucking date and you fuck, you better make her come. You better make her come on the third date, the fourth date, the fifth date. Guys, it takes a while before, you know, you can't, you know, you don't got to make a woman come all the fucking time. She give you a goddamn, you know, easy pass sometimes because, you know, she might understand that sometimes you're tired and shit like this. You don't get that at the beginning, all right? You best to be making her come with your foreplay and have your game on point to where her mind going when she coming, all right? Because women have been taught today that they need to come. It was once upon a time, guys, when I was young, that women just didn't even expect to come. All right, you did your thing. You fucked the shit out of them for 15 minutes. And, hey, if they came, they came. If they didn't, they didn't. Too bad. That was accepted. That shit ain't accepted today. Women expect to come, all right? Back in the day, once a woman started fucking with you, she felt like I was. she invested in you. So once she done fuck you, she felt like, well, you know, I'm invested now and gave my body. Women don't care about that shit no more. A woman will fuck you and you ain't make her come. She on to the next. She don't care about that little uh, sexual investment bullshit no more. That shit don't mean nothing no more. Back in the day, if you fucked a woman, she was invested in you. She gave you her body. She wanted to see where this shit gonna go. Even if your dick wasn't that good, she was gonna see where this shit go because she don't fuck you. Now, women don't care nothing about body counts and shit like that. So you got to make them come. So if you do fuck them... You got to make a woman calm. And if you ain't fucked her, that's why she ain't got, that's why you ain't got no more motherfucking dates. The girl want to fucking fuck. All right? Make a fucking move. All right? She ain't going hanging out with you doing all this other bullshit and you sitting there and you ain't making no move. This girl sitting up her pussy dripping wet and your beta male ass don't know what the fuck to do. I'll leave your ass too. All right? Make the fucking move. Do, go back and watch my fucking uh, creating sexual attention and physical escalation video and close the fucking deal, all right? Now, please, guys, don't go out there and rape no goddamn body. And I said, I got to close the deal on the third day. No, I'm close. That's going to lose interest. And you got the bitch down by her neck and all this nasty shit to my AMS. So I got to close the deal. No, guys, all right? Still go through the progression. Watch the fucking video on what I said. Go through the fucking progression. If the woman don't want to fuck and she has been using you for your non-sexual attention, she'll do some shit like she'll ask you, I think it's time I go or some shit. I think it's time for me to go or some shit like that. All right, that's when you know, okay, this bitch don't want to do nothing. This bitch just playing. But, all right, but women who really genuinely want to fuck, if you don't make moves, they going to fucking lose interest. Point blank, period, guys. All right, but getting back to the, the first part, guys, to if uh, and I know a lot of my guys on here are very young. I see it all the time. I'm 17. I'm 18. I'm 19. I see it all the time, guys. Your big biggest uh, obstacle to fucking girls is having a big fucking mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. All right. Don't tell your friends or that. They talk too fucking much. Don't tell no fucking body. And they ask you, hey man, you fucked up? Say, like, you know. I don't know, man. You know. Don't even tell them. Cause then they go tell somebody. And they go tell somebody. Then they get to a girl. And then now all the girls know you got a big fucking mouth. And now you wonder why no girl in school want to fuck you no more. Because they know you talk too fucking much. All right, so don't even tell your friend because he's going to go tell people. Keep it to your fucking self. Don't tell nobody shit. You fuck a bitch, don't tell nobody shit. All right, I tell you what. You tell everybody, all right? And when you jacking off every fucking night, you, you sit there and you just think about that. You and your big fucking mouth. Shut your fucking mouth, all right? The worst thing a girl want is... For people to know she freak. We already know most of them are freaks. If not all of them are freaks. Alright? So, we already fucking know that. So, but women... I told you guys, women are like fucking cats and men are like dogs. 
Women want to go do their shit on the low and nobody see it. A cat ain't, don't want to take no shit in front of you and piss in front of you. They got to go. You got to put the damn the basket under the damn the bathroom sink and they got to go in there and hide in the dark and shit and piss. That's how women is. They like to do their shit in the dark. Me and a dog will take a shit right in front of you, piss right and be looking at you just like this here. Shit and shit. Tail hard in the motherfucker. And we don't give a fuck, you know. We don't give a fuck. That's how, that's how it is with women. Women like to keep their shit secret. So shut your fucking mouth, all right? And this go for you older guys, too, that watching this, all right? I say this because 30-year-old men don't walk around, hey, man, I fucked that bitch last night. That's some young dude shit. So I know the dude asked me, he, he said younger girls. I, I, so I know he young because old men, we don't, we, I'm 38 years old. I'm not walking around bragging who I fucked, who I, I'm a grown-ass man. And my friends even know better than ask me some shit like that. I'm a grown-ass man. I was one of my friends. Well, hey, man, you fucked the man. What the fuck you asking me some shit like that for? I'm a grown-ass man. All right? But like kids, teenagers, and shit like that, I know y'all love to brag about this shit. Yeah. I hope you get some little points from your homeboys and shit like that because the girl's going to run from you. Shut your fucking mouth. All right, guys. Close the fucking deal and shut your fucking mouth. All right, guys. I got all your fucking videos coming. Doing one at a time. I appreciate it. Keep the comments coming. What y'all want to see next? I thought this was a very important video because I think a lot of guys like to go on these dates and play this little nice guy role and don't be trying to close the deal thing like, I ain't in no her. You better be in a her because the bitch want to fuck. You better be in a her. All right? You sit up thinking like, man, I ain't no her. I get it. Listen, even if you got other bitches and even if you ain't desperate for no ass like that, please understand that these women want to fuck. So even if you don't, like say you hypothetically say you already fucking four bitches, well, you better fuck her too because at the end of the day, that's what she want to do. And if you ain't trying to make it happen, she ain't finna initiate it. What you think, what y'all want these girls to do? Come sit on your lap and take their panties off? She ain't finna do it. She want to make it seem like you seduce her. You ever, you ever had a girl when you on a date and uh, you ever heard something some, uh, can I come back to your place? When you ever see some shit like that? Women want you to do that shit. You gotta initiate that shit. And they'll usually say something like, what we gonna do at your place? Like if you if you ask the hey you wanna come back to my place and then they usually gonna ask you some shit like well what we gonna do when we get there and that's why I tell you guys always have your plan so you can say well I got some pizza in the uh, refrigerator or whatever I'm gonna heat up have some more pizza me I'm a grown ass man I ain't eat no fucking pizza at ten o'clock at night I'll say some shit like I got some wine at the house in the wine cooler that's the whole point of the wine cooler that's the that's the, guys that's the setup. That's the setup. That's what I. That's what the. I got some wine at the house and the wine cool on chill, so we can go back and have a couple glasses of wine. She wanted to come back anyway, all right. But you gave her out, all right. You gave her plausible deniability. You gave her fucking out. She needed an excuse, all right. If you just say, oh, well, we finna go back down and fuck. She can't be. You can't be that fucking blunt, all right. Say you can go back and have some glass of wine and seduce her. That's what she wants. All right, guys? That's how you handle it. That's the whole point of the fucking wine cooler. I don't love wine that fucking much. I'm not a fucking wino. All right? The wino is for the bitches. All right? The wine is for the bitches. All right? I don't even drink wine like that, but I know the bitches drink it. So when I go out on my dates on Saturday and Sunday, I got her out to ask them back. All right? And if you tell my son, uh, well, we're going to go back and watch Netflix. Well, that's not good enough sometimes because, well, she told myself, well, I don't really like TV like that. Whatever the case may be, wine is always a good excuse. All right? Wine is always a good excuse. So stick to the wine. If you guys are young, then try pizza. That's all you can do. All right? All right, guys. I hope I cleared that up. Close the fucking deal and shut your fucking mouth. Like the video. Comment down below what y'all want to see next. Holla back.